Let's turn our attention now to commodities. Manisha is back with us. Manisha, what's the one commodity you're tracking? Well, I'm looking at metals as a sector because, you know, we've seen a strong uh, last three or four weeks where we've seen gains come in for many of these metal prices. But the last one week has finally seen some profit taking coming in. We are looking at markets uh, where you have the US dollar, which is strengthened. We've seen rupee decline quite a bit today. And that is the case with the Asian currencies as well. And that has led to some decline coming into those markets. If you look at the gold prices, yesterday was an all-time higher, 2,150. But if you look at the prices currently, we are trading at $2,050 an ounce, which is 100 dollars of a profit taking that we've seen in last 24 hours as well. So the speed at which the gold went up also has uh, come down in the same way. There were some stop losses that were triggered and is the reason we saw the prices gain up so much. But uh, the, the wealth funds and ETF buying in gold has pretty much continued. That is the case with silver as well. We saw the prices run up quite strongly but we're trading off seven month highs on this one too. Overnight decline for silver has been to the tune of three and a half percent. If you look at the industrial metals the profit taking there also has seen a spillover effect. Copper prices declined by nearly 2.5% overnight and we have come off those four-month highs that we were trading in in the last week itself. It has been a decline in the zinc prices which are now trading at a one-month lows. Remember, zinc inventories have surged quite strongly. They are at a two-year highs right now and the International Lead and Zinc Study Group says that with the kind of surplus that they were working in the previous year, which was at around 156,000 tonnes, this year is estimated more than double of that at 489,000 tonnes. So zinc is going to find it very difficult to gain from here on and the markets are looking at pressure therein. If you look at the prices itself in uh, the last one week, we have seen profit taking come across board. The only one that is trading uh, in the positive is copper up 1% in last one week. Apart from that, everything else has seen a decline come in. Zinc, as we've been talking about, is down almost 4% in last one week itself. And the other metals which have seen sharp decline in the last week have been lead and iron ore down between 3 to 4% onto these as well. What the street is watching out now is the China trade data that comes in on Thursday and you have the U.S. non-farm payroll data that comes in on Friday. So those couple of days are going to be quite important. That's going to be the crucial labor market data investors are watching and will it confirm that perhaps we're in with all the U.S. rate hiking cycle. The next FOMC is on the 12th and 13th of December. That's next week.